Let's meet our special <laughs> guest for the morning. It's Bang Goes to Theory. It's Les Bonin, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is proof, if ever it were needed, that beauty and brains are not mutually exclusive. Uh, the one-time Top of the Pops host is back fronting a second series of the BBC One science show, Bang Goes the Theory, and I should congratulate your team, because uh, Monday's show about the uh, volcanic ash and its <laughs> effect like on jet turbulence has put the fear of God <laughs> into everyone. Well, that wasn't our intention, <laughs> really, but, no, we thought it was um, important to... To this find out dropping, exactly, uh, this was dropping volcanic ash. Yeah, what happens to jet engines? Why it is so dangerous? Why we weren't flying? Because obviously, like you guys, I was going. I need. I was supposed to fly out on Monday for a job in America, and I was like, oh, "Come on, seriously, surely we can fly." So we wanted to find out why we couldn't. And after finding that out from them, you didn't I didn't want to go either. Like, I'm going to stay put. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Take your time. <laughs> now um, we should establish or, or re-establish uh, your credentials because you are a bona fide proper scientist, aren't you? I suppose I am um, academically, but you see, the thing is, we're all scientists. If you're curious about the world around you, yeah. this is what I think is is science. It's not really a subject. It's just a, a kind of state of mind. You know but, how what, you look at the you, world. What did, you, what did you study? I did study science because I just loved it in school, what, I what did you do, though? Uh, biochemistry. I loved biology. I loved chemistry. Made sense to study biochemistry. Understanding how all living things work down to chemical equations. I've always been fascinated by that. And then, a couple of years ago, after Sorry? doing a bit of... <laughs> <laughs> you are laughing at me! You are fascinated by... I mean, I'm impressed, but I'm just a bit shocked. You're fascinated by chemical when I was equations. A kid, I used to love uh, looking at little birds and even my, my pet dog and imagine their little hearts pumping and I could almost visualise their, their blood pumping through their arteries and stuff. I was always sort of... Does, is that weird? Yes. Like, no, I know. <laughs> yes. no. no, it isn't weird. I, I was just always really interested, so it kind of made sense for me to understand how all those things work down to, you know, the chemical equations that make all so the reactions why did you up. end up presenting Top of the Pops, then? Because then... <laughs> I'm, I, I tend to um, get bored easily, I think, and I, I suppose I took a year off after college to think about what I would do next science-wise. And in a really roundabout way, I was asked to present something on Irish television, and that led to another job and another job. And I was like, this is great fun. So I came to London, got to work on a breakfast show and on top of the pops, and was having just the best time. And then a couple of years ago, I thought, I thought like, I miss science. I want to get back to academia. you've done a Masters, haven't you? Yeah, I went back a couple of years ago to study wild animal biology and conservation because I'm really into wild animals and big cats in particular. So I went back to study, and I thought, you know what? I fell into TV, but I love it. If I could do the two, if I could present science and wildlife on television, wouldn't that be the dream job? And I'm literally pinching myself every day because I'm doing it now. It's just, it's just Do you silly. want to come and help me uh, bash our lamb over the head, Lady oh. Barbara? Oh. Shut up! Contentious. Sentimental, soppy so-and-so. No, but I, I, I am into wild animal conservation, yeah. but I eat meat. As right. long as the animals are reared properly, Absolutely. that's going to be a happy life. lamb. And have a, exactly. I wouldn't Thank mind you. a little bit of that chop. Now, yeah. now. <laughs> We had an extra episode of Bango's The Theory. Did you say it went out last night? This was a special on so-called brain-training computer games. You know, these are the ones mm. that aren't supposed to work. Here's Liz revealing the results of their study. Wow. Now, th this is... Uh... Do you play them? Do you well, play them well no, I, mean, I gave one to my mum just for the fun of watching her try to turn it on. <laughs> and she still, as far as I know, oh, hasn't succeeded. <laughs> but this is a serious study. Absolutely. It, it resulted in big coverage yesterday. Uh, all the papers saying that these computer games don't work. Yeah, and, proper, and that's the case? proper scientific research published in Nature, no less. Um, and it was all launched on Bangos of Theory last year. Um, British Medical Council are involved, the Alzheimer's Society were involved. And, you know, it was a really rigorous scientific um, research. And we found out that there's absolutely no difference before and after playing brain training games Any to your general to brain all? power. No, not at all. If you want a healthy brain, Exercise. We showed that in the show last night as well. Exercise increases the connections of, of brain Any cells. Any particular kind of exercise? Aerobic. Get, get That's the why Craig's so clever, yeah, isn't exactly. it, Craig? Yeah, And you're in a girl band, weren't you? You've got a lot of exercise nice one, in that, What does that have darling? to do with exercise? Nice I well, nice, there's a nice, nice step, touch, step, touch. There was a bit of step, touch. <laughs> what there girl was. group was that, actually? Oh, well, we was, were, <laughs> I just we wonder called... how you make that leap, darling. I know. See, I, say I, I, I did say I get bored easily, so I tried a lot of things. <laughs> that was great fun. We were in a band called Chill. We never actually released a single, but we did do the Smash Hits Roadshow. Can you believe it? It was great fun, great fun. I did the Smash Hits Roadshow. Not something I like to say in this current paedophile climate, because people would think I'm far too old, but it was a professional engagement, just so you know. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> no, 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 I was covering the story. 
Oh, OK, I was thinking, you sit, I know you do <laughs> sort of sing, but Thank just, you. you know. New Hawking album, which I appear on the next Hawking album. Blood of the Earth coming out later this year, just thought I'd Good mention. Impressive. Now, right. yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's tell you about today's show.